Welcome to Homestyle Southern Cooking, where we feature Missouri Southern's brightest and finest. On today's show, we're going to feature everybody's favorite dessert, brownies. We're going to be making them in the oven, and for you dorm students, the crock pot and the waffle iron. Our special guest today is Rush Carr, a senior here at Missouri Southern, and he's going to be helping us in the kitchen. So let's get started. Homestyle Southern Cooking. We're in the dining room with today's guest, Rush Carr and Tabby Johnson. How you guys doing? Good. good. How are you doing? Very good. I'm so excited to have you on the show today. A lot of people don't know Rush, but your dad is the owner of my grocer sponsor, mm -hmm. Marketplace of Drop right. Greenhouse. He is. I love it there. I can't mm -hmm. stop buying the food. It's so healthy. It is. <laughs> and I was amazed to find out that you guys even make your own, uh, have you know your own farm eggs mm -hmm. and. Mm -hmm. Do the, the honey yep, bees and do. all that? Mm -hmm. I'm, I think I'm going to have to get me some honey bees set up in my yard. I think that's my next step. We got the stuff for that, too. I know. You have everything yeah, we there. we do. So I'd like to get to know a little bit about you guys. Okay. Rush, um, you're a senior here, mm -hmm. right? What's your major? Uh, kinesiology and health promotion and wellness. Can you explain <clears throat> that? It's a, uh, well, bottom line is personal trainer. Okay. That's what I will be doing. So. That's what you want to do? That's yep. your dream? Yep. Nice. Now, uh, Tabby, what is your degree? I am a English BSc major, which means I'm going to teach secondary education, so I want to be a teacher. And now, secondary education, what grade level will that be? Uh, it's high school. It's 9 through 12 is what I'll be certified in. Um, I would love to do 10th grade, but we'll see. Yeah, that'll be good. Probably easier than like elementary mm -hmm. or junior high when everybody's like, angst. <laughs> 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 So, what brought you guys to Missouri Southern? Rush? Uh, my parents went here, and I only live a few miles away, so and I was just as a little kid, I wanted to go there, and so, so now I'm here. Support your parents' alma yep. mater, huh? That's right. Nice. Now, what brought you here, Tabby? I have always wanted to be an English teacher, and Southern has a really good education program, and so I was just <coughs> drawn here. Nice. So, you guys met here? Yes. Mm -hmm. How long have you been going out? Uh, two years. Mm -hmm. Tell yeah. me your get-to-know-each-other story. Everybody's got one. We just met through some mutual friends, started hanging out, and got became good friends, and now we're engaged. And Oh, you're engaged. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Yep. Let me see the ring. That is beautiful. Mm -hmm. Can you guys see this? What a <laughs> rock. I'm jealous. He did good. <laughs> he yeah. did good. I tried. So when's the tentative wedding date? It is October 22nd next year. So, so after you graduate. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Great, great. Mm -hmm. How exciting. Mm -hmm. Have you already got your dress and everything picked out? Yes, I got it. You're ready, huh? I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> so are you guys planning on staying local then after you both graduate, or are you going to We'd move? like to. Yeah, yeah, we'd like to stay around here. Where so. would you like to teach? Um, I, I've always kind of wanted to go to do Web City, so um, any, any place really around here would be okay, but ideally Web City would be nice. Nice. So. Now where do you see yourself? Uh, you know, being a physical trainer. Hopefully just in the area, a gym or something, to be a personal trainer there, so. Nice, nice. Well, you're very fit, so. I've tried. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was really nice getting to know you guys. Yeah. I'm so glad you guys joined me today. Thank you for coming. Thank mm -hmm. you. Thanks for having us. Oh, no problem, but I tell you what, you better have me at your wedding. I'm expecting an invitation. All right. We will. <laughs> <laughs> Well, thank you for joining us, and next we're going to be in the kitchen making some of those yummy brownies I talked about earlier that Rush is going to teach us how to make. Mm -hmm. You stand beside me each Saturday, wrapped up against the crisp, fall chill and driving rain. Scarf around your neck to protect your clean-shaven face, muttering underneath your breath and cursing at the refs. You always keep a folded program in your back pocket. They say you've been coming here for years that you were the original fan. You remember seeing Rod Smith run and even saw the championship in 72. You are the murmur of the crowd and the waves of applause dancing along the field. You are the roar of the score and the shh before. 
You are the disappointed sigh and the laughter among the children. You often smile as you head for the exits with the drum still pounding in your ears. I doubt I'll ever know your name, but they say you are a linebacker. The Marketplace at Joplin Greenhouse is the best place in town for organic produce. The Marketplace houses Joplin's only organic coffee bar, featuring fresh local coffee beans. They have a wide variety of organic and gluten-free items, as well as local products including milk, eggs, chocolate, and fresh meats. So go visit the friendly and helpful staff at 2820 East 32nd Street in Joplin, in the Food for Less parking lot. The Missouri Southern State University Bookstore is your place to find all things MOSO. We have a wide selection of Missouri Southern apparel and gear to choose from, so you'll have no problem showing your lion pride. Our bookstore is also the place to find books and other supplies required for class. So whether you need apparel, books, or just a snack, come out to the Missouri Southern Bookstore located in the Billingsley Student Center on the campus of Missouri Southern State University. At Missouri Southern, we believe achieving a university education should be possible for everyone. That is why we are working hard to make earning a university education accessible and always an excellent value. As a graduate of Missouri Southern, you should expect to reach your career goals. Take a look at our graduates in health sciences, teacher education, business, or biology. Their success can be yours. Come check out Missouri Southern, apply for admission, and see where your academic career can take you. Today we have Rush Carr, mm -hmm. a senior here at Missouri Southern, majoring in kinesiology. That's all right. What is kinesiology? Uh, kinesiology is the study of the human body and how it works and all that kind of stuff. So. so you're very into health and fitness? Yes. Well, that's good. So how come you came up with brownies? They're chocolate and I like chocolate. They're gluten-free like too, aren't they? Yes, they are. And you, got, you added a little bit of protein yes, to them. Yes, I did. Okay. Yep. So why don't you walk me through the steps. First, why don't we spray this down so we don't forget where we're at. Yeah, that's important. Yeah, very important. <laughs> we don't Just want sticky bit. brownies. There we go. All right, so now what's my next step? Uh, first, you'll just kind of dump all those in there. Okay, so we've got three-fourths cup of oil. Mm -hmm. You'd usually use butter, mm -hmm. but I personally like oil because it's a little healthier and it'll make your brownies richer. So we have three-fourths cup of water, so it's equal parts of butter or oil and water, and about two tablespoons, mm -hmm. teaspoons, or tablespoons, read the package, it'll <laughs> tell you. I like a lot of vanilla, so we're going to add that in there. Now, Rush, how many eggs do I use? Just one egg. Okay, so I got these amazing eggs at Rush's dad's mm -hmm. marketplace, the marketplace at Joplin Greenhouse. Farm fresh eggs, you cannot beat it. All right. It's so from our own chickens, too. Oh, no way. Yep. I love that. That's why I love to shop there. Everything's so fresh and local. That's right. All right, so we're just going to stir this up. Now, tell me about the protein that you replaced. You took out two tablespoons just, of batter. Yeah, the scoop that came with the protein, I just took two scoops of those, of the, uh, the mix out, and two scoops of protein back in. Okay. Now, that makes them a little healthier, yeah. like more bodybuilding. Yeah. Okay. I can understand that. Those look good. They do look good already, don't they? That's what I love about your dad's store. You can get such healthy ingredients so that you know you may be eating a little bad, but mm -hmm. you're eating so good. That's right. I do love that. Like I said earlier, you don't want to stir it too much because you don't want them to get too dense. So we'll set that aside. Why don't you hand me one of those spatulas there? There you go. Perfect. Let's pour this in here. Got it. I do. <laughs> kind of hard one here and I'm not as uh, maybe I need more protein in my food because I'm kind of weak <laughs> you're all right so we're gonna spread that out to our edges we definitely want to make it nice and smooth and even now these are oven brownies and there is a trick to oven brownies that a lot of people don't know I like 
you know, cooking tricks. Mm -hmm. So we're going to cook them halfway. And then at the halfway mark, we're going to pull them out and we're going to smack them on the counter. And that's going to make them even and perfect. So you could even sell them if you wanted. No lumpy brownies. So you might want to do that in the beginning, but definitely at the halfway point. So what's next? Just cook them? Cook them. Awesome. It's easy as that. Easy as that. Now, how long do you cook them? I don't remember. <laughs> it's a good thing it's the, the stuff's on the package. Yep. But with the magic of television, we are going to pull out his beautiful, already pre-made brownies. Now, let me get some stuff out of the way here so we can see how good these look. What about that? Yummy, yummy, yummy. I think we should dig into this. I think we should too. Well, why don't we take a break and then we'll meet in the, in the dining room and we will have ourselves some we brownies. We do that. All right. Let's Thanks for joining me today. Yep. All right. Well, we'll be back to Homestyle Southern Cooking right after these messages. The Marketplace at Joplin Greenhouse is the best place in town for organic produce. The Marketplace houses Joplin's only organic coffee bar, featuring fresh local coffee beans. They have a wide variety of organic and gluten-free items, as well as local products, including milk, eggs, chocolate, and fresh meats. So go visit the friendly and helpful staff at 2820 East 32nd Street in Joplin, in the Food for Less parking lot. The Missouri Southern State University Bookstore is your place to find all things MOSO. We have a wide selection of Missouri Southern apparel and gear to choose from, so you'll have no problem showing your lion pride. Our bookstore is also the place to find books and other supplies required for class. So whether you need apparel, books, or just a snack, come out to the Missouri Southern Bookstore located in the Billingsley Student Center on the campus of Missouri Southern State University. At Missouri Southern, we believe achieving a university education should be possible for everyone. That is why we are working hard to make earning a university education accessible and always an excellent value. As a graduate of Missouri Southern, you should expect to reach your career goals. Take a look at our graduates in health sciences, teacher education, business, or biology. Their success can be yours. Come check out Missouri Southern, apply for admission, and see where your academic career can take you. You stand beside me each Saturday, wrapped up against the crisp fall chill and driving rain. Scarf around your neck to protect your clean-shaven face, muttering underneath your breath and cursing at the refs. You always keep a folded program in your back pocket. 
They say you've been coming here for years, that you were the original fan. You remember seeing Rod Smith run and even saw the championship in 72. You are the murmur of the crowd and the waves of applause dancing along the field. You are the roar of the score and the shh before. You are the disappointed sigh and the laughter among the children. You often smile as you head for the exits with the drum still pounding in your ears. I doubt I'll ever know your name. But they say you are a linebacker. Catch complete coverage of Joplin City Council meetings only on KGCS TV, Channel 22, keeping the citizens of the Joplin, Missouri area informed and in the know for the past 30 years. Live at 6 p.m., first and third Mondays of each month, rebroadcast on the first and third Tuesdays of each month. Catch Joplin City Council only on KGCS TV, Channel 22. Welcome back to Homestyle Southern Cook, and I think we should just get started on our crock pot brownies, all right? So there's a few steps you have to take to make these great. First, you want to spray down your, your crock pot, but not too heavy. You just want to make sure things don't stick. And to double ensure that, we're going to make a nice inner layer so that things will pull out easy. But the best way to do that is take the lid to your crock pot and then make a little template, which you can then cut down very simple and this way you know your brownies will come out easy and they will not stick to your pan. There's nothing worse than making a mess in the kitchen and having to clean it up. So as we cut this, not hard at all, you don't have to be perfect. Pretty simple. Alright, so let's get rid of that. We're going to put this insert right into our crock pot. Okay, so we have our crock pot ready now, and it's time to make the brownies. So we've got our gluten-free brownie mix here because everybody likes to be healthy. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a third of a cup of oil. We are going to add a third of a cup of water. I like to add a little vanilla because my mama says it makes everything better. Now you can add nuts. We're going to do it. I like to be a little nutty. We're also going to add these really wonderful farm fresh eggs. We're going to do two of those. Now there's a real simple trick about brownies. You don't want to stir them too much because you, you don't want them to get too, too dense. So the less you stir, the airier and the fudgier that they will be. Not a lot of people know that trick. So here we are, just a few little stirs. Maybe more than I thought. Now we've got a nice mix here. The key though is just to make sure you have no powder left. All right. So now we have a nice batter here. And what I'm going to do is pour it into the crock pot. I mean, how easy is that, right? So here we have it poured in the crock pot. But I'm going to save a little bit aside because we're going to use a little bit of this for our waffle iron. All right, so that's that. Now what we want to do is we want to cook that on low for three hours. You do not want to cook it on high. You'll burn your edges. You'll know it's done when the edges of your brownies are firm, but you have a nice gooey center. Okay, so three hours. Right now I'm going to get some out of the oven that I already made. What? How good do these look? All right, and the best thing to do with these ooey gooey brownies, a little ice cream. Now, who can say no to that? All right, so the next thing we're going to do, all right, so now that we have that done, we're going to head over to our waffle iron, and we're going to make these super simple brownies, but the key to this is you've got to spray it, or they won't come out. They'll just stick, stick, stick. So we got that sprayed. Now I'm going to take my same brownie mix, and I'm going to put it in the waffle iron, and I'm going to put about just enough to fill each little section, which is kind of like two tablespoons. Doesn't take a lot, because it will fill up as it expands. 
Now the good thing about the waffle iron brownies is they only take about five minutes to make, which is a perfect solution for dorm students who got the munchies right now. All right, so let's close this down, get it going, and after these messages, we'll try these brownies. You stand beside me each Saturday, wrapped up against the crisp fall chill and driving rain. Scarf around your neck to protect your clean-shaven face, muttering underneath your breath and cursing at the refs. You always keep a folded program in your back pocket. They say you've been coming here for years, that you were the original fan. You remember seeing Rod Smith run and even saw the championship in 72. You are the murmur of the crowd and the waves of applause dancing along the field. You are the roar of the score and the shh before. You are the disappointed sigh and the laughter among the children. You often smile as you head for the exits with the drum still pounding in your ears. I doubt I'll ever know your name, but they say you are a linebacker. The Missouri Southern State University Bookstore is your place to find all things MOSO. We have a wide selection of Missouri Southern apparel and gear to choose from, so you'll have no problem showing your lion pride. Our bookstore is also the place to find books and other supplies required for class. So whether you need apparel, books, or just a snack, come out to the Missouri Southern Bookstore located in the Billingsley Student Center on the campus of Missouri Southern State University. Catch complete coverage of Joplin City Council meetings only on KGCS TV Channel 22, keeping the citizens of the Joplin, Missouri area informed and in the know for the past 30 years. Live at 6 p.m., first and third Mondays of each month, rebroadcast on the first and third Tuesdays of each month. Catch Joplin City Council only on KGCS TV Channel 22. Welcome to my kitchen today. Hi Terry, so good to be here. So what we're doing today is we're making a yummy Greek dip that my friend Sheena taught me at a dinner party recently. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add my tomatoes to my bowl. I'm gonna next step add olive oil. Good so we're to gonna know. add some olive oil. Mm -hmm. So next I'm gonna add my Greek seasoning and then I'm gonna add the feta cheese because what, we Ooh, love feta. some feta. And then I'm gonna, gonna add the green onions. We're gonna mix that up. Okay, so I'm gonna bring this over here for us to try. You ready? Yeah. You excited? I'm very excited. You're gonna love this. Mm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, so good! good. <laughs> The Marketplace at Joplin Greenhouse is the best place in town for organic produce. The Marketplace houses Joplin's only organic coffee bar, featuring fresh local coffee beans. They have a wide variety of organic and gluten-free items, as well as local products including milk, eggs, chocolate, and fresh meats. So go visit the Friendly and Humble staff at 2820 East 32nd Street in Joplin, in the Food and Burlesque parking lot. At Missouri Southern, we believe achieving a university education should be possible for everyone. That is why we are working hard to make earning a university education accessible and always an excellent value. As a graduate of Missouri Southern, you should expect to reach your career goals. Take a look at our graduates in health sciences, teacher education, business, or biology. Their success can be yours. Come check out Missouri Southern, apply for admission, and see where your academic career can take you. Promotional consideration has been provided by Pearl Brothers True Value, proud sponsor of Missouri Southern State University. Welcome back to Homestyle Southern Cook, and so we're in the dining room with our guest, Rush and Tabby, and we're going to try this amazing brownies that they made and that I made. We'll see whose is the best. How about that? Sounds good. All right, so this is the gluten-free protein brownie. Mmm, 
That's good. You wouldn't even know that it's got Mm -mm. extra protein in it. Nope. Or that it's gluten free. Really chocolatey. Mm hmm. I like that on the recipe it said you could add like chocolate chips to it if you wanted. Mm -hmm. But I don't think it needs much more chocolate. Definitely. Well, I'm not going to sit here and eat this whole thing, but I am going to dish us out some of these other flavors so we can try. Okay, so this is our. Um, waffle iron brownie. It's got some ice cream on it. Let's get you a little piece. Thank you. Let's get you a nice little piece, Rush. There we go. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Oops. Oh, well. Mm. <coughs> Very nice and crunchy. Very good. It is. It has a different texture, definitely. Mm-hmm. Huh? That's good. The ice cream definitely makes it nice, too. Because it is a little drier. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's yummy. Good job. I have, thank you. <laughs> I hope the dorm students learn how to cook these for themselves. Well, I think now we should try the crock pot brownie. Yep. Let's do it. Okay. I feel like a little waitress. <laughs> okay, I'll get me here. I'll get you some of this nice gooey part with ice cream. And Rush, there we go. Thank you. You are welcome. You want a little extra ice cream? Sure. There you go. Thank you. Yummy. Mm. So what do you think of the mm. crock pot brownie? Really gooey. I like it. First time I had that. It's pretty good. You, didn't, you wouldn't know that the, mm-hmm. all the things you can make in a crock pot. Mm-hmm. That's why I suggest every dorm student gets one. <laughs> it's interesting how different all the textures are, mm-hmm. but they're all really good. Well, the crock pot is definitely more like a lava brownie. Yeah, mm-hmm. definitely. Well, I think we've had a success. I think so. I don't think there was any brownies that were bad today. I'd say they're all good. Yay, yep. mm-hmm. I love it. Well, thank you. I'd like to thank everybody for joining us today. I'd like to thank my guest, Rush and Tabby. And I'd like to thank my sponsors, Marketplace at Joplin Greenhouse, Pearl Brothers, and my crew. I couldn't do it without you. Thanks so much. Join us next time.